Hello everybody, this is Roger Hansen and I am working with audio and video. <clears throat> Today I want to go through some things that I've been uh, getting better at. Um, first I want to show you my video converter. I have a video that I'm putting together that's uh, shorter videos and I'm making them into one. I'm merging all the videos into one file. The, <clears throat> the reason why I'm doing that is because I have short videos of my editing that I want to uh, put together for one bigger video. And I've uh, got to be honest, I've done or I've worked with different um, converters before, but uh, Wondershare uh, video converter that I have, I am. Um, actually enjoy using it better than I do the other ones. I am not trying to advertise or sell for them whatsoever. I don't make any money off of saying that. I'm honestly telling you. It gets a little bit annoying sometimes, but out of all though, I haven't found any of them that's actually that good. Um, this one has uh, features on it that don't really seem important, but whenever I need that feature, it seems like Wondershare is the only thing that can do it. Like on my uh, gaming videos, I like to uh, capture little parts of a video instead of the whole screen, and it allows me to do that to where I can crop uh, whatever's in the video and just videotape that part so that seems to help me out on that um, what I have here is uh, videos that I was recording while trying to help my brother with this computer it's an older model and it's very slow I uh, wanted to show you the video uh, converter to show you that I'm putting this together but I also wanted to point out you know um, a couple of things that I had mentioned before and I wanted to go on and show you how I find out my uh, audio or my uh, upload speed what I usually do is I go on my browser my Google Chrome it's really easy to um, to find out how fast your computer's upload speed is or how slow it is. All you need to do is go on and go into Google search and type up uh, upload speeds and they'll show you uh, websites that you can go to. Now this is a slow computer so it's going to take time for video to actually pop up. I do have a computer that I use for my gaming and it's a lot faster than this one and I still have issues with videotaping because of the bitload speed. Um, I've mentioned it before and I'm, I'll bring it back up again. When you uh, go in and when you go to get an internet provider, always find out what their upload speeds are. Um, I know you'll find a lot of them that will tell you you get 25 megabytes per s uh, second and uh, HughesNet will tell you that there's no hard uh, there's no hard freaking uh, uh, bit limits or whatever it is no hard limits what they don't bother to tell you is that they give you a certain amount of gigabytes per month unless you get the unlimited package which some people can't afford and if you run past that they slow you down so that's something that you need to look out for so far I've only been able to actually get 
one internet provider in my area that doesn't do slowdowns and it's DSL and all I get is um, 600 millibytes no 600 yeah 600 kilobytes per second which is like I'd say yes yeah, three-fifths of a millibyte is what it basically is of upload speed there we go and like I said it takes quite a long time on this computer the slow speed on this computer is 100% due to the computer itself so don't I'm not saying I'm not blaming the internet provider on on that necessarily. But let me. I come on to Google Chrome and I type in uh, upload. Speed test. Uploads, upload speed test is what it is, or upload speed, anything like that, and it'll search them out for you. Now, if you stream on um, Facebook too, Facebook actually, when you're streaming, tells you how many millibytes of bitrate you have, and that's another way that you can do it. I do that quite a bit, but uh, here it's got internet speed test. Check your internet speed in under 30 seconds. The speed test usually transfers less than 40 millibytes of data, but may transfer more data on fast connections. To run the test, you'll be connected to Measure Lab M Lab. Your IP address will be shared with them and processed by them in accordance to their privacy policy. MLab conducts tests and publicly publishes all test results to promote internet research. Published information include, includes your IP address and test results, but don't include any other information about you as an internet user. So here they go doing the internet speed test. I've got 9.23 millibytes of download speed. And I have 0.84 millibytes per second of upload speed and that's probably because my other computer is down right now but usually it's at it would be at about six uh, point six four and that's coming out of Chicago uh, Illinois latency is 16 ms and your internet speed is typical your internet connection should be able to handle streaming and HD video. If multiple devices are streaming video at the same time, you may run into some slowdowns. So, just so you guys know, um, not a lot of uh, people are being told the truth when it comes to their upload speeds. Um, just because you get something that says you have two terabytes of memory doesn't mean that you have a fast computer. Okay, that just means that you have two terabytes of storage space. What you need to find out is how much do you have of uh, how much do you have when it comes to upload speeds. On average, when you go to stream these days, they recommend that you have a minimum of at least three millibytes per second and 
a lot of these websites like YouTube and Twitch and platforms like that can also handle dealing with one millibyte per second but that's really pushing it um, when I finally went in and I took care of all of this I actually um, see like right here I'm having issues right there I'll show you my settings and show you what I did I, I actually had to adjust my settings and this is just for people with low uh, upload speeds but I'm going to show you exactly what I did you go into your settings and right here in your uh, output where it says streaming okay first what you want to do is you want to change your encoder to uh, x26 and uh, I have enforced streaming service encoder settings but not a lot of people do that I also rescale my uh, my output and uh, my rate control is CBR and my bit rate I, I make it 600 straight off then I use a buffer size and on the buffer size I make it 400 so you have a bit rate of 600 and a buffer rate of 400 and keyframe intervals seconds zero equals auto I put it at four now with my CP usage preset um, higher equals less CPU so I use very fast and my profile is main and my tune is none now after that I also go to oh, when you go to output mode you put it on advanced too by the way now I, after I'm done with streaming I go to my recording and on my recording I end up doing um, the same thing down here I match it up at the bottom and how I do my output mode on advanced and I do my uh, rate control at CBR bit rate 600 use custom buffer size 400 for buffer size and my keyframe interval uh, seconds 0 equals auto I put that at 4 then I use my CPU presets higher equals less CPU very fast profile main tune none alright and that's how I do that now on my base canvas down here in uh, my video options my base canvas resolution I put it at 920 by 1080 and my output scaled resolution is 920 by 1080 and you can adjust that and, and I've had no problems with uh, uh, one of them I forgot which one it was and I can't check it right now because I'm streaming but uh, play around with it but you can you can adjust that any way you want and now on my downscale filter it's uh, by linear fastest uh, but blurry if scaling and that's what I do I scale so it does get blurry and I know that that's not good for a lot of viewers they don't like it but when you're uh, streaming at low speeds then that actually helps out and I've heard a lot of people say stuff about this but it actually works for me at that low of, uh, speed um, I change my integer FPS value to 12 that means 12 frames per second and it's actually worked out pretty good but that's something that is up to you it's all on how you want to do it and I believe that's all I have to show on that one but 
yeah, this is what I'm doing right now. I'm setting this video up. It's to go over some of the tests and helping my brother out. He's trying to record a war commander and I am going to have that done here before long. I got some shots of uh, its performance and how it was working then. I um, went into where was it? Um, Gotta remember what I did actually. Oh yeah. In uh, my uh, scenes down here, I actually used my browser. I believe that I did. See. Yeah, that's what I did. So whenever he whenever he plays that game he can just access it. Now I'm not sure if that's what I did, but I also use display capture like I'm doing right now. And I've had to adjust the the settings in there too. Now, if you have regular <coughs> upload speeds, which is like three millibytes per second, I do not recommend these settings. I'm just saying, from my own experience of having 600 kilobytes per second, that you do not want to try to stream at those rates you're going to have to adjust them and I went over my settings if you want to try those you can um, if they don't work you know go through play around get on YouTube and talk uh, and you know watch videos and, and see if there's something that works for you but there is a solution is what I'm basically trying to say So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, share, make comments, um, give a thumbs up. I appreciate the bit if you did. And thank you for watching.